The faith of many Nigerians and nations' glory have been widely contended against by the torrent of economic downturn experienced in the country over the years. Most persons have resorted to taking trips out of the country in search of greener pastures, while their counterparts left behind soak about what is left of the nation. In times like this, however, there is an urgent need for citizens to take the posture of service, dedication and collective responsibility to ensure that a desirable Nigeria emerges. Collaborating this belief, several respondents called for Nigerians, both leading and those being led, to contribute their quota by making sacrifices, helping one another, representing the country in a good light, obeying the instituted laws, and many more actions for Nigeria's development. Because first of all, when you go on social media, you, the comments you see from people, Nigerians particularly, about the country, gives the impression that Nigeria is a terrible place. And uh, foreigners will always tend to act on the opinions of Nigerians. Like they say, who will tell you about somebody more than the person who is closest to him? And the two, I feel as Nigerians, as patriots, we should always obey the law. When we obey the law, we tend to help the government. The government will not always be there for us in terms of 100% performance as per the duties of what a government should do for the citizens. The government will always fail one way or the other, we know. But because the government is failing one way or the other, does not mean as Nigerians we should also abandon our obligations, our duties as Nigerians, and tend to abandon our responsibilities as patriots. It will be detrimental to the country as a whole. If you ask me, political era is more expensive. If what the senators are taking home, what the, what the judiciary, whatever, all the stakeholders, what they are taking home, if they can bring it down, it will help the situation. Imagine somebody taking home like five million naira. In the same, in, we go to the same market. Somebody is any less than hundred thousand naira. How would that? How 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 would the life balance? The sacrifice. If everybody will learn to to to, 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 to sacrifice their their own part of it, this, the economy will the, the nation will, will, will move move forward. You know, like try to bring down your neighbor. Try to portray bad things about your country or someone is not good at all. So you just try to be patriotic at all times. Even if things are not going the way it should go, just try and be patriotic. Don't, don't depend on government to do everything for us. That is the only way that Nigeria can be better. Because if you depend on the government, you will not go far in life. Do you know what you know how to do? Help the poor and help people who you are better off. I believe without Nigeria will change. A respondent, on the other hand, faulted the foundation of patriotism laid by past leaders, claiming that it was for their own selfish interest. He mentioned that the patriotic actions of Nigerians are bound to face stiff limitations. Our forefathers, the foundation they laid down is for their own, is for their own selfish interest, and that what is trending on now. The same way. Our new leaders, they are still, they are still uh, believing being according to the foundation, they are growing the foundation in their own self interest. They, are not, they don't have Nigeria in their hearts. We as Nigerians, it's a personal thing because, and they are not sure if it will be possible. Because if you or me decide now to choose another path, it's either they will tag us one thing or the other. They may tag me terrorists, they may tag me different type of things. Eh? to make sure they liquidate me or kill me. Nigerians are encouraged to remain positive and committed to their country, defying the present challenges. Faithful Opokam, reporting for BTV News.